Okay, so you have said that Harriet is a freedom movie. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, ladies, if you wouldn't mind, what does freedom mean to you all? It's the ability to really find your own happiness and to and to live in the way that you <laughs> want to live. That's freedom. It's the idea that um, you have nothing in your way stopping you from moving in the direction you want to move. There's nothing that's hindering your progress. You get to choose. You have freedom of will. The idea that you, your choices are the, your choices and not anyone else's and you have the agency to change them if you wish. What does liberty mean to me? Any kind of way that you can set your life up so that you are not, you're not tied to like working your life away. That's what freedom has meant to me. So why would you say that now we're talking like 400 years after the first enslaved Africans have arrived to this country, nearly 200 years after emancipation, we are still, as black people, fighting for freedom? Because we haven't dealt with our past. We haven't dealt with it. We're, we're not at all reconciled. We, we're still trying to bury it. Or we're still trying to rewrite it all the time, um, you know, and, and, and make it different than it was. I really think a thorough examination of it is a healthy thing. You need to expose things in order for them to heal. And we, we need to really have reconciliation in this country as to what that was and what we did and what our be the, be the beginning of the country was. Mm -hmm. It's so fundamental and yet it's, it's, it's really not thoroughly dealt with. You know, it was designed for us not to really be fully free. Even in the UK, we still haven't really even faced our past at all. I don't think we even really discuss uh, the terror that slavery brought to people because it was uh, across the, the pond for us as well, and we just haven't dealt with it in any way, shape or form. This movie is about an, the power of the individual, about what one life can do, but, you know, of course, you know, Harriet couldn't end slavery. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the, the, the systemic thing that was happening, she couldn't end. But there's, of course, always the power of the individual within a society to make change, for sure. Harriet Tubman's last words were, I go to prepare a place for you. And so what does that place look like? Where do you think that place is? I think that there's some sort of beautiful place, but in some ways it's a reflection on what has always gone on in her life. Mm -hmm. She always went to prepare a place. So mm -hmm. I think wherever she's going, she trusts that that is going to be a place where she, she wants others to follow and where, mm -hmm. where it'll be, it'll be, that'll be a good and freeing experience for others to follow. I'll say that whatever it looks like, I hope that, I hope that Billy's there and Donnie's there and Cab Calloway's there and Nat King Cole's there, you know. I want to jam. Sounds like a glorious place to be.